In this tutorial, we are going to be looking into concatenating multiple values together. So what I have here is a table with client names separated by name and surname, and then their addresses separated by street address, city, and state. And what I need to know in column H is the client full name, and in column I, I want the name plus the full address so that I can uh, have a mailing address for these clients. So let's go ahead and start with client name. What we are going to be using here is a formula called concatenate. So as always, I'm going to start with an equal sign, equals, and then I start typing the formula. As you see, there are two options. There is the option of concat and the option of concatenate. The difference here is that concat only takes up to two values and concatenate takes multiple values. Personally, I always use concatenate. So in case you need to alter the formula later and you need to add more values, you don't run into problems. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on concatenate and it starts the formula for me. So all I have to do is add my first value, which is the name. This is in A2, so I just click on A2. I add a comma and then I need my second value, which is the surname. So in theory, that will put the name and the surname together and that should be right. However, there is going to be an issue here. I'm going to go ahead and press return and we'll see why. So as you see, the formula has put the names together, but there is no space in between the name and the surname. To add a space here, it's very simple. So let's double click to open the formula. What we are going to do is, after the comma, we are going to add inverted commas, then a space, inverted commas again, and a comma. And you can already see that the helper here is telling me the results, so that's what I want. I'm going to go ahead and press return, and there you see. Now I have the correct results. So let me double click again and explain the idea. What we have here is the first value, then a comma, and we are using inverted commas to add a space, and then there is a comma, and then it's our second value. So I don't have to do this every time, now I can just simply drag this formula down, and it will work for all of the names. Now let's do the same, but for multiple values, and we are also going to introduce here one more trick to help us formatting our data. So let's go ahead and start with equals. I need to concatenate because now I have multiple values. So let's go from the very beginning. I could just take the name from here. Okay, let's be lazy and let's take the name from here. So I already have the name, comma, and now the way I want this data formatted, I want the name and then I want a return. Basically, I want the address in a new paragraph. So the way to do this is to use char 10, which is basically the symbol for um, a, a new paragraph. So now the address is going to start on a new line because I have added chart 10. I need comma again. Now I need the street address, comma for the next character, and after the street address I actually wanted a comma. So inverted commas, comma, inverted commas. Comma again. I'm going to need a space, so again, inverted commas, space, inverted commas, comma. Now I want the city, so I'm going to click on Chicago. And now I have to repeat it. I want a comma after Chicago, so comma, inverted comma, comma, inverted comma, comma. Now I need to add my space, so inverted comma space, inverted comma, comma, and then I click on Illinois. Okay, 
that is very confusing, I know. Let's just go ahead and press return. Just one thing, as you can see the helper here, it's always telling me what my result is going to be. But let's press return and let's see it. Let's just expand the. I think that's the best way to look at it. Let's just expand the column. So this is my how my address is looking. And again, let's look exactly where we did. And if you look here at the formula bar, let's look at the formula. So first we clicked into H2, which is the full name. So H2, then we add char 10, which basically in here give us a return and puts all the new data into a new paragraph. So that's what the char 10 is. Then we added C2, which is the first piece of address. Then what we have here is a comma. So as you see here, there is a comma after 123 Broadway. The next thing we did is a space because we need a space between the comma and the new piece of address. Then we add D2, which is the city, and then we repeat. We add a comma after the city, we add a space, and we add a state. So it does look very complicated if you're only looking at it but it's actually quite simple. I'm going to drag this down. And there you go. We have mailing addresses for all of our customers. If you want to follow along with the tutorial, the spreadsheet that I'm working on is available and linked below on the comment box. All you have to do is open the link, then click on file, make a copy, and save a copy to your drive. Thanks for watching.